So I'm down the plot today. It's a little bit overcast, but it's not gonna rain, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna get some jobs done. So a couple of things I wanna get done today. The pathways are starting to get a little bit weedy. So my plan is to get some wood chip and just wood chip over the plants. That way it just keeps some of the cooch grass that's growing up underneath the grass. Just keep it down a little bit. And then that way I don't have to dig it. These paths here have been done a few months ago back in the autumn. So they're just starting to get the weeds coming through. So I hope to put some wood chip down and then that way it will just suppress some of the cooch grass and some of the other weeds that are just starting to make an appearance. So that's the first job that I plan to get done today. Fingers crossed. Suddenly the world I used to know I see it differently. You woke me from a dream now here's reality. Baby, baby, you are really hurting me. Cause every time you tell me I'm good and bad, I'm doing fine. But nothing ever changes. And now I see, baby, you are hurting me. Stuck in repeat. Stop lying. I know you play in your part. But baby, it's breaking my heart. How could I know? If you don't need me, just let me know when I go. Truthfully, the game that you mention of weeds a couple of the beds are really weedy so I'm just gonna give them a little hoe over just so I can keep on top of those weeds because last year I did normal digging and I found that the weeds got quite well they got quite bad <laughs> um, in a word that's my reason for going completely no dig on the plot now so I've just noticed a few of the weeds are just starting to come up again. I'm just going to give them a quick hoe off. And then that way, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can kind of keep hold of the, uh, the no dig beds being weed free. So that's the plan. I'm just going to get that done really quickly now and just give a couple of the beds a hoe over. So Andy's just phoned and he's going to come down and give me a hand. How great is that? No, never ever say no to a help on the plot. Um, and he's, he's really good. Don't tell him I said that, but he's really good. Um, he suffers with his back. And one of the reasons that I have put these raised beds in is because I also suffer with my back. And it's another reason why I've gone no dick. So I'm just going to let him use those little raised beds because he can sit on a stool and he can and he can garden with them and he'll probably just enjoy it to be honest he usually does so that's the plan he's on his way he's just rang me i'm on my way so yeah that's nice and there's a little um kind of i don't know area where you can if you don't want stuff anymore just leave it and then possibly another plot holder might come along and take it off your hands kind of thing and i've put a few things over there um i had an old cold frame that i wasn't using anymore within minutes it's gone so just had a look over there today and there's this pot look at this so there's this trough here that's possibly seen better days it's a little bit grubby um but i think this will just clean off pretty much give it a bit of a scrub 
Um, but yeah, it's all right. Look at it. It's quite decent. And it feels, I don't know what it is, but it's breakable anyway. We'll give them the possibility, we'll give them the chance. I'll end up breaking it, but I don't want to break it just yet. My plan, well, this is a plan. So at home, I had these strawberries and I was going to put them in the beds um, just so they're sort of a, a strawberry bed. But I think what I'm actually going to do is put them in that trough. I think that's what I'm going to do. So this area here, um, is a little bit wide with the, the whole wood chip. And the reason I've done that is because I'm either going to put another one of those raised beds that I've got here in that space. But I think what I'm actually going to do, these potato pots that I've got. So at the minute, these two have got garlic in them. So I plan to just have this space with the pots. And then that way the potatoes will hopefully have a space to go. My only issue is this. So in this bed here, I planted some carrots. So they are really nicely planted. In the bed the other side, we have, I've planted possibly a little bit early, but I've got in here my parsnips. So these are parsnips and then also some leeks. Chandy has really kindly just planted up for me. And then I've just had the thought, can they be planted together? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I've Googled it and I can't really get an answer either. So I'm hoping the knowledge gurus out there will know. If I put my potatoes in the pots in between these parsnips and the carrot beds, is that going to be a problem with growth, with disease with anything so let me know in the comments because i need to know otherwise i've got to change my plan so i've just been told off by andy because i've been chatting <laughs> to a few of the plot holders like you do um and he said oi i'm doing all the work here and you're just chatting so i'm actually going to do some work i now plan to put some lettuce in so i've got these new raised beds let me just show you quickly now I'm not sure what way to actually put them. I think I'm gonna try them this way, but the problem is I won't be able to get to the corners, I don't think, which might be a problem. So I think if I have them side by side, that might actually work a bit better. I'm not too sure. Uh, let's just try and see. Also, this tree is right in the way if I have them this way. So it might actually be better to have them side by side. Yeah, now I can get down the side of the beds. I think that is much, much better. So now to plant them up. To leave, already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. I've just planted up here is that the water system that I have on the greenhouse will water these well these beds now that's the plan 
and then hopefully the lettuces and the salad crops that I've grown won't bolt. So that's that's what I hope anyway. But they don't look too bad. They don't look too bad at all. Um, I've got half a bed here that I can plant up with something else shortly. This chard, I don't actually eat chard, but I just love the look of the whole stems. Look at that red on the stems. I just love the look of them, but I hate chard. I just tried the strawberries in the pot just to see how they look and they actually fit like a glove. How is that? Look at that, it's like it was made to be. They are perfect. So I'm just gonna put them in properly now. There we go. Made to fit perfectly. I'm really pleased with that actually because it's always good when you upcycle something, I think. Say one man's rubbish is another man's treasure or woman's treasure. There you go. Fab, job done. So, <sighs> right, let me show you these seedlings and these just planted. So, this is a bed full of carrots. Now, I can't seem to get carrots to grow at all they don't germinate and i just have real problems with them so i bought from the garden center these these carrots pop them in the beds i've heard that they're probably fork or they don't like being transplanted and buying plug plants for those carrots is a waste of time but i can't seem to grow carrots for love or money so i'm trying this and see if it works i don't think it's going to work from what i've read but why would they sell them if if they didn't work? So, yeah, just going to give that a go. Fingers crossed. Though it definitely feels like spring's on the way now. There are lots of things growing in the garden here now um, and on the allotment, which is really nice because it's that time of year that things start to go pop, which is my favourite time of year. So, will you please? So the spring onions are nice. They're all doing really well. Not too much damage here and they're just growing really slowly. Um, we've got the rhubarb that was transplanted a few weeks ago. That is now really doing really well as well. Uh, really pleased with that, to be honest. I didn't think it would transplant very well because I kind of left it out in the winter and someone said it will be fine. Just, you know, plant it up to the crown. It'll be fine. So that's what I've done and it's come back really nice. So another freebie, another gift from another plot holder. So all good times, all good times. So yeah, everything's looking great. Um, onions are starting to come up nicely. The garlic, it's survived winter flooding than it had. It was really badly flooded. It got really, really wet. Um, and the whole plot actually was underwater, which wasn't great. <laughs> um, but they've come back really great. Um, they're fine. Um, they haven't been too badly damaged, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that. And of course I've got some garlic in the pots, which thankfully I was really pleased I did because I didn't know if the garlic was going to survive or not. So with the garlic in the pots, it's um, pretty, pretty uh, good backup, I think. That's the plan. So in the greenhouse growing, these are the cauliflower that I... Um, I sewed so these are the cauliflower Boris F1 and then at the back here in this little bit of the tray we've got some cabbage so a few of them have come up which is great Brussels sprouts just at the back in these rows here they haven't come up yet these um, onions are the onions red baron they're not doing too badly I do need to, to start getting them out um, I've neglected them a little bit um, so yeah they really need to go out. Um, but the leeks are up. Um, the leeks are really um, starting to sprout. I didn't think they would. So these are bleak blue sleighs and leek below zero that I planted. And then in the garden centre, because I haven't sown any chilies or peppers, I've just bought some peppers. So that's uh, in there. Broad beans. I wasn't going to grow any this year, but I've decided just to put some in just so I can get a, a little crop off them. I know exactly where I'm going to put them now, which is great. 
um, another pepper I bought and then we've got the sweet peas that are just starting to come up so that's uh, really good as well something else I salvaged was this guttering um, this guttering I just found sort of lying around and I thought it would be really good I've seen people sow some peas in there there isn't actually any peas in this one but there is in this one here and they're up as well uh, which is really great to see because um, I don't know if it's going to work or not and there's no ends on it so I don't know if it is going to work but it's really great to see that the, the peas are starting to shoot up um, and hopefully will give me a crop of peas this year uh, again peas is something I've struggled with here because the birds get them so I'm going to be extra careful with the peas this year speaking of the peas we actually have some pea flowers the peas I've sown in these little pots and the hanging baskets they are starting to show some flowers um, there's quite a lot of flowers on this one actually starting to make an appearance this one over here uh, it was planted at the same time but it's not doing so well um, it's not doing as well as the other one I don't know why because they were sown at the same time they're the same variety they're the same pots so I don't know why this one isn't doing as well but yes this one is uh, off to a great start so all the uh, work that I did over the winter, all the hard work doing the beds and the mulching, it's just starting to, to take off. It's really great. And if you look at the plot, I'm really happy. On that note, have a great weekend and I'll see you again soon.